Hi, this is Paul from the Kiteboarder Magazine. I'm going to give you guys a brief overview of the RRD Obsession. Now we were able to test the 10.5 meter Obsession here in La Ventana. This is a five strut, medium to high aspect kite. This is what RRD is positioned as their boosting kite. This is their, their boosting free ride, freestyle, and uh, really good to get upwind on. We found that those things are very true with this kite. It has kind of a medium turning speed, medium bar pressure. Some pros on the RRD exception, definitely that boosting performance. Out of everything that we tested here in La Ventana, this is probably the best performing kite for jumping, for getting up in the sky and hanging up there. It's, uh, it's fantastic for that. It also features really nice looking construction. It's very top notch construction. Looks like it's finished really well. Another thing about the Obsession is it's a really stable kite, especially when you consider how high performance it is and how good it is at jumping. You usually have to give up some stability for that. Some cons about the kite. It's uh, to, to turn the kite, it takes a little bit of oomph on the bar. It's not that it turns real slowly. You just have to turn that bar pretty hard to really initiate turns with the kite. Also, the relaunch on the Obsession, it's a little bit difficult to relaunch. Totally doable in pretty much all conditions, just going to take you a little bit longer than some other kites out there. Another con about the kite that our testers mentioned is that it takes some attention to fly. It's not a, uh, it's not a kite that you can just kind of park it and forget about it. It takes a little bit of attention. It's a little bit higher performing kite, but you can really, really use it to, to, to launch some huge airs, and it's really good for that. All right, guys, so this is the bar that you use with the RRD Obsession. This is very similar to the bar that uh, RRD was using last year. It's a one-size-fits-all bar. You can see that the ends are adjustable. It features a below-the-bar leash attachment and also a push-away quick release. Our testers commented that they thought this quick release was a little bit difficult to put back together in the water. All in all, it's a very nice feeling, the bar in the hands. It features the floats on the sides, the uh, emergency handles on the outside, a really nice above-the-bar depower cleat that actually features a little bungee in here so that it actually helps keep the excess material out of your way. There is no swivel in the system so your front lines can twist while you ride. Other than that, it's a really nice, really simple control system. Okay guys, so that's our brief overview of the RRD Obsession. Once again, we tested the 10.5 meter down here in La Ventana. Of our testers that rode this kite here, three out of five would recommend this kite to a friend. That's all we have to say for our brief overview. If you want to read more, head to thekiteboarder.com.